Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our topic is about the reinforcement ratio. What is reinforcement ratio? And I will do one example on that reinforcement ratio. And also I will explain the different ranges of reinforcement ratio for the slab, beam, column as well as the footing. So to define the reinforcement ratio, the re reinforcement ratio is represented usually by the row and it is the ratio of the area of the steel area of the steel to the area of the concrete area of the concrete the area of the steel represented by AS and the area of the concrete usually represented by the cross-section dimension of the member which is BD usually so uh, this ratio, the area of the steel dividing by the area of the concrete of any member, structure member, it may be beam, it may be column. So this ratio we get called as the reinforcement ratio. And it shows us that how much reinforcement is used in our structure member. For example, now I will solve the one example on that, so you will get some idea of reinforcement ratio. For example, consider this is in the beam or the column section and let's suppose the four numbers of bars four numbers bars are used and these are four and number eight bars are used i'm just taking an example and let's suppose uh, the width of the beam is represented by b is 12 inches and the depth of the beam represented by d is equal to the 18 inches so uh, and we design this beam after designing we want to find the reinforcement ratio that how much reinforced is usually used in terms of the percentage and this structure member and this beam or column so if you know this all the dimension and these quantities so reinforcement ratio will be equal to the the area of the steel the area of the steel is given us is dividing by the bd so the area of the steel is uh, the, the area of the number 8 bar is 0.79 the number 8 bar area is is equal to the 0.79 inches square so for 4 number bars we should multiply the 0 0.79 with the 4 we will get the required area which is equal to the 3.16 inches square so area of the steel used here of the longitudinal bars it should be remembered that this area of the steel is always of longitudinal bars, not of stirrups or ties. So the area is 3.16. I can write it here. The reinforcement used in this beam section, we found out it is 3.16. And the area of the concrete is BD. So B is the width and D is the depth, which is B into D by multiplying these two. So we will get 3.16 dividing by the 216, which comes out to be 0 0.014 it means this amount of reinforcement is used in that area of the beam or column section so this can be represented in terms of the percentage is uh, 0.1 so this reinforcement ratio in terms of the percentage uh, if I multiply with the 100 0 0.014 multiplying with the 100 so I get 1.4 percent it means the reinforcement ratio for this beam or column section is 1.4 percent this amount of reinforcement is used in terms of the percentage or that of the area of the concrete so this is called the reinforcement ratio and now there are some different ranges for different structure members like for beam there is some range that we should provide the reinforcement ratio and it's okay and for the column as well as for the slab and footing. So the reinforcement ranges for different type of structure members are uh, for the columns, reinforcement ratio for the column uh, is generally ranges between the 1% is the minimum and maximum is 8% allowed uh, to use uh, that type of, that amount of reinforcement ratio in the columns. The reinforcement ratio for the beam uh, is generally uh, two percent it may be more or less but it should be uh, in between somewhere at two percent for the slaves we one percent uh, we can use uh, some more or less 
to one percent, but we should not increase the uh, limit. Um, like for example, if there's one percent, we cannot take as ten percent, but we should take over two percent or the point five percent. So this is a, a allowable limit of the reinforcement ratio in slaves. The for the footing, the general range of the reinforcement ratio is point eight two. 1%. So we can use uh, this type of the reinforcement ratio generally allowed in the structure members which are most commonly used column B, slaves and footing. So with the help of these uh, reinforcement ratios we can know that how much uh, steel are used in our structure members and so this was all about the today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily C1 engineering videos. Uh, thank you for watching our video. Thank you.